Hi! In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up an editable table where users can see and edit only their own data. How does this work? Well, imagine that you create a single table, which looks the same for everyone, where different users can edit and add new rows. For example, my orders or my to-do list. Where's the catch, you might ask? The neat feature is that these users will not interfere with each other in their activity. One user can't see what the other one is creating, and vice versa. This feature was implemented in the plugin, as we found out in its frequent use case, for many of our clients, which we developed as a custom solution several times. Thanks to the request's popularity, you can now enjoy this as a built-in feature of WP Data Tables. Let's see how this works. You can create a table just like this one directly from the WordPress Admin section, not only from MySQL. Click on Create a Table and select Create a Table Manually. Let's name the first column Product. Make it a one-line select box and add a few products. The second one could be named Comment and the third one could be Date. The last one, which is important, should be called User ID and be an integer. That is the column that will identify and distinguish our front-end users. Now, create the table. Let's add one dummy row so that the table would not be empty. The first thing you need to do next is to enable front-end editing, then enable limited editing to own data only, and select the user ID column from your table. This way, we explain WP Data Tables that this column will be used to store the user identification number. What you should do now is hide the user ID. This one doesn't need to be shown in front end. Click Apply to save all changes. Now that this table is set, add it in a page. On the front end, you can only see your rows because these rows are assigned to your user ID. Let's add another row and then see how the page looks from a different browser. The table is editable, as we've set it, but you can't see what the other user has added. One thing worth mentioning is that the logged out users will have the user ID equal to zero. What this means is that only logged in users will have personalized rows. If you don't want this to happen, you can edit the table settings and choose which roles can edit the table. Now, go to the browser page where you logged out. You'll see that the table isn't editable anymore for you. As an admin, you might want to see the entries from all the users. To do that, you need to create a MySQL-based table by querying the same database that the first table was created from. For example, you can create a table where users can see and edit their own data. It gets some name automatically. You can always find it on the MySQL table name for editing. Input on the Editing tab. Then, you can create another WP data table based on a MySQL query. Select everything from the table so that we can see all the user's entries when we have to. Most likely, you are interested in how to edit tables, which are related to other tables through so-called foreign keys. WP Data Tables supports this as well. We have a different tutorial about that. Check it out in our documentation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to our other channel to see other neat and informative tutorials.